Hey, hey, DNA fam. <laughs> Happy spring. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, I don't know about sure you East Coasters. Yeah. And we've been getting some rain, but April showers bring me flowers, That's, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Happy spring. <laughs> But um, welcome to another Bible study with the Sown Seed. Today, we will be reading from 1 Samuel 17, 38 through 40. And it's the infamous story of David and Goliath. This is before they fight. David uh, is speaking to Saul. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take it from there. Oh, we got to pray first. Oh, well, got to. But and we then can. we'll read the scripture. We can. And then let's dive right in. Okay. So God, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to share from your word. I pray that those watching and listening may receive something from it so that they can impart it to their life and see some type of change. Let it be some type of benefit and help it build up instead of tear down. Help it encourage instead of destroy. We thank you that your word brings life and not death. So let us receive your life this day. Yes, In Jesus' Lord. name. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> All right. First Samuel 17. 38, got it. Through, 38 40. through 40. All right, let's go. Okay. Then Paul clothed David with his armor. He put a helmet of bronze on his head and clothed him, clothed him mm -hmm. with a coat of mail. And David strapped his sword over his armor, and he tried in vain to go, for he had not tested them. Mm -hmm. Then David said to Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not tested them. So David put them off. Then he took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones from the brook and put them in his shepherd's pouch. His sling was in his hand and he approached the Philistine. Mm -hmm. All right. What's <laughs> our lesson? Oh, it's on me. So <laughs> usually about this time, we, you know, we hear about the five stones, we hear about the sling and mm -hmm. all that stuff. I want to skirt back just a little bit with that interaction with Saul it's only two verses but mm -hmm. I think it's something very powerful in there that we can take to apply it to our lives David was talking to Saul who was the king at the time mm -hmm. and so he's like okay you want to go fight this giant for us that's great but you can't go out in those shepherd's staff and you know a little sling so right. take my armor and so he's got the king's armor probably helmet sh um, shield sword everything probably the top of the line stuff but it didn't fit David. Mm -hmm. So when I read this a couple years ago and I read it again last week, I was thinking there's this theme that you need your own. Okay. When you're in a battle, you can't go off of someone else's experience all the time. You can't go off of someone else's military armor. You need your own. It's custom tailored just to you. Yeah. So when we're battling in, in life or if we have struggles in our faith, or you know, situations arise, we can't always rely on the faith of others. I remember when I was young, I was drugged to church. You know, I liked to go, but it was like, I didn't have a choice. Mm -hmm. Mom and dad were Bible believers, Jesus followers, and say, you're going to church with us. Sunday, Wednesday, prayer night, worship night, meeting, Sunday school, all that. So vacation, <laughs> Bible school, church out. But it was like, that was the faith of my family. Right. That was the faith of my parents. And I had to get to a point in my development where I had my own. Right. Because I could go into a temptation and a battle and I feel like, oh, my parents believe, but I would lose that battle if I didn't have my mm -hmm. own. And I think, you know, I've been watching movies lately. Mm -hmm. You know, I like, I'm trying to catch up on my Marvel before Infinity yeah. War. Yeah. And it's like, I think of the Avengers and it was like probably the second one that they all were trying to lift up Thor's hammer. And I know this isn't Bible, but it's like, he has an armor and weapons that were tailored to him. Right. Everyone else was trying to lift and they couldn't because they needed their own. Captain America has a shield. Iron Man has a suit. Everyone had their own type of armor mm -hmm. that allowed them to be victorious in the battle. Right. And I think as Christians, we need to stop looking to the left and the right and saying, oh, I wish I had their armor. Oh, I wish I had that. And say, God, what have you given me so I can fight the battle that's right before me? Yeah. You need your own. That's right. You need your own experiences, your own relationship. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and um, I also made a note um, <laughs> at verse 33, although we didn't read that. But um, when Saul was telling David, you know, you can't fight him. You ain't nothing but a boy. I mean, he, was, <laughs> he ain't saying like that, but he was like, you know, you ain't nothing but a boy. And he was um, raised to, to be in war. And so David had that faith. 
in the experience already with God, he said, God had already delivered me from the hands of the, the paws yeah. of these animals. He will surely deliver me from the hands of Goliath. Sure. So he already had his own experiences with God and was like, if he can do it for me, then he can do it again. What's good about that? I mean, that's an excellent point. Your experiences build your faith. Right. It's not, oh, my experiences build the faith of someone else. It's your journey, your development, your faith walk, which will lead to your victory. Yeah. Ooh, that was so good. Oh, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Skip. So I thank you for tuning in. <laughs> um, we love sharing this with you. I hope you're getting something out of it. Yes. Comment below what God's speaking to your heart, what stuck out, what popped. It was like, wow, the light bulb came on. That was yeah. good for me. I'm going to apply that this week. You got prayer requests, you can send them a DM. Because we want to pray for you, want to be an encouragement. We don't just want to be another video. Right. We want to really help change the world. So we love you. Until next time, we'll see you then. See ya. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. We want to hear from you. And check out our social media. And what else? And don't forget to subscribe. Check out the last video we posted. We'll see you next time.